I just moved my tripod, my fancy, fancy tripod. This might work. Seven years into it, I might have figured out a tripod. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. I'm filming. What day is today? Monday afternoon. And prep for Wednesday because Tuesday is going to be a three hour drive with a anxiety ridden dog. There is a tractor or something. I wonder if they're delivering the tractor for tomorrow here already. I wonder if there's a huge tractor. Okay. All right. Hmm. Little bracelet fell off. Good morning. Good morning. We are getting ready. I, it's Monday afternoon. I'm feeling early because the dog. I blame everything on the dog. I know. It's not fair. Trust me. He gets away with a lot still. Including something I just discovered. So, he's on my, no pun intended, poop list. Yeah. I swear to God. Okay. Stop talking about the dog and talk about your journal. Okay. I think I will. It's a lot more fun. Sometimes. Um... If only I could cut straight. What channel on YouTube teaches you how to cut straight? I do have a paper cutter. And it's right there. And I moved my camera. I think this is much better. I made uh, terrible comments about my tripod yesterday. This morning for me. But I think I actually moved it into the right spot. Seven years. I'm figuring it out. Okay. Our mystery from the Sherlock Holmes series of book covers that I found in a burlap sack in England while we were there in August at a garage sale were 30 unpublished titles and stories of Sherlock Holmes and I'm lucky enough to have them so I thought no better place to put them would be on October Daily so here we go this is story 12 book 12 and it is called the Cotswolds caper the Cotswolds area of england is a fairy tale treasure tourists flock to the area to see quaint villages beautiful countryside and good food the favorite dish to order in almost all the restaurants in the region is shepherd pie served with a side of mushy peas with capers this year Mad pigeon disease has taken over England, and the only cure is capers tea. It seems somebody has taken all the capers in the Cotswolds and are hoarding the mad pigeon cure. Surely, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, number one consulting detective, can solve the mystery of the hoarder of the capers and thus allowing all tourists to enjoy mushy peas with capers once again. I don't know if capers go in mushy peas, but they do in the Cotswolds. In the times of Sherlock Holmes and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's his story and I'm sticking to his story. So it's coming together. It's coming together. Even the ones I don't like are starting to fit in. The Bullies of Buckingham. There's a video on all of them. Who Poisoned Mr. Morris's Roses? The Butcher of Blenheim. The Case of the Missing Ear, my favorite. The High Street Hijinks. There goes that tractor. I think somebody's getting some of their tree stumps loaded into a dump truck. Um, a filler page. The Jumper of Tower Bridge. Double Decker Debacle. Um, Haunted High Clear. The Hound of Columbia. It's even starting to grow on me. St. Paul's Potion, Parliament Puzzler, and now we have the Cotswolds Caper, which I think might just go on here. 
I think it's time for some polka dots. What other colors are in here? This is, I think, what came with this. Yeah, we're going to do some, maybe a filler page of polka dots. And then another page. Let's see what I got in my bag of tricks over here. Oh, you know what? Here's Tim's paper. Let's see if we can't come up with something from here. Hmm. I like that. I just banged my foot. Okay. What else is... some more. Here we go. Oh, I like that one. For these, I kind of think I want smaller prints, but I love this. But maybe not with that. I like this brick. I think I got all these last year. Snake skin, alligator skin. I like that one too, but I also like this one. Ooh, I really like this. There's chip paint. I wish these weren't double sided. And I'm not hoarding them, I'm not photocopying them. Oh, but here's a good Halloween one right here. Maybe? This is not screaming Halloween. This whole journal is screaming mysteries. Oh, that's good. Mm. Kind of like that. Or like this rusty metal. Ooh, I like that one too. Here's a map. That'd be kind of cool. Especially since it's in England. That's London right there. Okay. The paper has spoken. All right. Now, obviously, these are not the right size, so they're going to get cut down. And they're also not the right width, I see. We will worry about that in a few minutes. Okay. Here is London, and the Cotswolds is like over here. No. Over here. This is London. Over here. This is an ancient map, though. But the Thames River is still there. The Cotswolds are still there. I'm trying to see if I recognize any of the names. And I don't. Like, I mean, seriously, Stratford upon Avon should be here somewhere, which is between Birmingham and London. Okay, I could look at this all day. We don't have time for that, Beth. All right. Now, it's not the right size. But I happen to have a little bit of black cardstock, and that's not the right size either. I need a margin right there. Let's move this out of our way. Um, black. the Halloween paper away because it really didn't apply but maybe I can use some of it for this margin if I can get into it
Ooh, papers. The only one that I'm coming up with is orange and black polka dots. This is a really cutesy paper pack. I don't know why I bought this because I am not cutesy for Halloween. Not gory. I'm going to use this. I could find some black, black, solid black that's better fitting, but alas. Or, no, okay. Ruler. We're just going to cut off a chunk. This is almost um oh, what am I trying to say? Um just so I get it the right width. Almost it's not quite cardstock, but it's heavier than copy paper. Okay, that's what we want to do right there. are going to just tape it. Hmm, this is going to be the back. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to put something over this. That's a shame. to waste the back of a Tim Holtz paper, but nobody tell him I did that, okay? I kind of like this green. And the green goes with the Cotswolds. We're going with that too, okay. I probably should use tape, but I might regret this. blends in. If you squint your eyes and hold your head sideways, it blends in. Okay. Holes. All right, let me get this right. I want the holes on this side. I do not have a picture for this one. So we're just gonna go with the title on the front. Something, we'll figure it out. Okay, this is going on the back. Okay, magic bracelet. This is the bracelet I got at the Victorian Albert Museum. I love it. It's a cuff bracelet. And it's, it's hammered metal. I doubt if it's high grade. Well, it could be a high grade silver. Not for the price I paid, but I still like it. I still, I just liked the aesthetic of it. Okay. What could I 
All right, here's some more scraps of stuff. Just found this paper. I love that. I like the green, though. Oh, 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 I know. What we're going to do. I've been obsessed with circles, as we all know. But I think I'm going to add some of these to the front and the back. Oh, my gosh. I just realized... These are bats. Can you see this? The bats make the square. Oh! Maybe the bats took the... The bats probably gave the pigeons the um, mad pigeon disease. The mad pigeon. What is it called? What did he call it? Mad pigeon disease. It came from the bats. Or, that's our story and our stick into it. And we have bat stamp which I have not used pardon, I don't think I've used a stamp yet if I have I don't remember okay we might need some more of those all right my thought process is for better or for worse go with that and then put bats around here Yes, this looks funny, not green, I have to say. Yeah, I love that. Green paint. Huh. Or green, which I'm gonna call it. Tempera paint sticks, they dry faster. We're on a time crunch today. a mossy green pen to the bunch. It's a little too organized. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. organized color that probably caused mad pigeon disease also organized color okay that's much better now some of this is water loving and some of it's not water loving these guys don't do well with water but we're gonna tease them into submission I think I have bats in my belfry. I do not. Well, not right now. I say I have a bat. I know I have a bat. Hmm. All these little tiny um stamps like hero art stamps i know i had a bat okay where are those stamps i could draw a bat maybe oh hello we have stencils Surely there's a bat here. 
Oh, there's a great one right there. Okay. That was easy. Now, I think I'm going to color them with black marker because this is acrylic, I'm thinking. Now, if we put this here, we can have a couple bats on the side. I'm just coloring them in. This is what I mean about working intuitively. Had no clue. Sometimes like the puzzler and this the five o'clock somewhere by Jimmy Buffet, who's trying to steal the house next door. Hi, Claire. Some of that stuff I can kind of have something to jump off of. Sometimes I didn't leave myself any place to jump off of. So I need the paper to just start screaming, yo lady, do this. That was not on my radar. No pun intended. These markers are just the Crayola markers and they're a good tool too, especially for the money. And I've had them for a couple years. They just keep on going. Sometimes they don't like surfaces that you want them to like, but, and I mean, they're not good for big section, but this little section is fine. Love it. Love it. I love things going off the edge. Allie Edwards taught me that. Kind of have some stuff everywhere. Sometimes you have to be careful with markers too because the stencil can cut into the tip. But just don't press super hard. Okay. This might be my new favorite. <laughs> oh, it's the mad pigeon disease. I think I have it. I need capers. Now, a little salmon and some sour cream. Capers are good. And a bit, little bit of like crusty baguette bread. Yeah. Okay, I love that. That looks Halloween without screaming Halloween or fright or cutesy or any of it. Yeah, now, since we did green on the back, we need green on the front. And I might just like, do I have any more? Ooh, I have a map. Oh, Lord have mercy. The loud dog is here. In the car, outside the window, I can hear him barking because he's afraid my husband's gonna leave him in the car. Has he ever done that? No. Here I go with this thing again, but maybe not this time. Oh, here we go. Sometimes you need a little border, even if they're not the right colors. I'm going to tear this white off and rip it to the back so that the white doesn't show. I could probably bl blacken it. And I want this a little short because this one's a little short. And I want one end torn and one end straight. And it will kind of look like my book, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's book cover has a border, sort of. And they don't have to be matchy, matchy, perfect sizes. Love. Now, still does not say what how I'm going to but I'm going to put the label on the title. Hmm. Um, bag of scraps. Or what all is in here? 
Oh, no, I do have some of these tags, but I think they had a lot of pink. Okay. Yeah, they don't really fit the aesthetic. All right, here's some more of them. Oops, this way. Oh, no. That's kind of evidence. Oh, that's good. But it's got a raven on it, which normally I would love. Oh, that's good, too. Ooh, this is even better. It's got a witch over a potion. That's got evidence, too. Ooh. Okay, we're going with this. Because I'm going to cover up the witch with the title. And there's no pink. Oh, I said, oh, look at here, some bats. Those are Ali Edwards. Halloween kit I bought is, is fantastic. It just doesn't fit my aesthetic this year. Maybe next year. It has lots of... I'm looking for another bat. Oh, I love this ghost. It's vellum. <laughs> That's great. I do have some more circles. Where did I put them? I need everything to have a homing device on it so I can find it when I need it. The GPS, what do they call those things? GPS, geotags? No. It's another little ghost. Now some of this is, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes. We're not going to use it all. Maybe not even these. Yes. I punch out some green circles though. Is that yes a little bit too much? Could have been. <laughs> oh, here's a whole lot more vellum ghosts. These are great. But they don't fit this particular title. Although, we don't know who stole the capers. I'm looking for another bat. I can make some though. Or, okay, her paper. I wonder if any of her paper has bats on it. <gasps> Creepy. Not the right color. Close. Close. Ooh, but here's purple <gasps> bat vellum. Okay. We, we, we're doing this. When you go to the bookstore to get this book after the publishing company says, oh my gosh, we should publish this stuff. Um, you will have to lift up the, the vellum to read the title. Or do we just do that? I think I want to cut this off right here because I don't want any of the white to show. And true to form, it is cut crooked.
this came from Liberty, this yarn. So that's fitting too. Not on the Cotswolds, but it's in England. Magic bracelet, you are doing well today. Okay, no red. Pretty soon it's going to be too short. So I love Lucy effect. Okay. I think I'm going to cut off the hole because I don't want to put a thread here. Well, do I? No, because I want the, that to be, the bat to be purely, purely visible. So we're just going to do that. And it just fits. Now, that, oh, there goes that. Okay, I'm going to tape this with clear tape, which I just had, and now I can't find. I just had it. Here it is. Okay. straight. Yes. Okay. This is my favorite one. Double-sided tape. Because these both are cardstock, so. Oh, this is fun. I love it when a plan comes together for Mr. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Now, the, oh, I know. I just had a brainstorm. What does the front have to do with the back? Except for bats. Hold your water. We're going to get there. So excited, I keep forgetting to talk. <laughs> I want this off kilter. Now, I need something over that, but it's got to be the right color. Yes, Allie and, and uh, Tim Holtz can play well together. Okay. That's a very precise way of measuring. Cover up the witch, okay. And I'm just going to write it in pen. Wait a minute, it's super dark. Oh no, I know how I'm writing it. Okay. Now, this is kind of wanting to 
curve in, but I think once it's in the book, it'll relax. But, all right, where are those things? Oh, please tell me I have one right here. Right here. Yes. Gold. Crafters gold. This may not show up. Okay. Cotswolds caper. Hmm. I'm going to have to outline it. But I'm going to outline that. So they match the front bats. Whoever said I have bats in my belfry? This is fantastic. This is my favorite one. This would make great paper. I don't know if the gold would pick up. Like if you were to copy it. Scan it. These pens are from the Dollar Tree. I love these pens. Okay, we're going to outline it in gold too. The graphic artist that worked on this cover was kind of detail oriented, it seems. Or more detailed oriented than some of the other covers. Okay, that's great. I wonder if I could. Oh, I love this. Do you think I can do this? This is when you make Ellie Edwards stuff your own. Okay. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Okay, we got to put the holes in the right place. Are you going to be able to lift this when you um, put it in the binder? Hmm, I hadn't thought that part through. I'm sure. So Arthur Conan Doyle's graphic artist hadn't either. But we're going with it. Just knocked a bunch of stuff on the floor, as one does. Okay. Let's see how this is going to behave. Let's put this glue stick lid on. All right, we're, we're rest. This is a resting page that will have something on it. I don't know what yet. It's a little big. How do I get this so big? <gasps> I don't want it to lift, actually. You can see the map through it. Not perfectly, but you can. A little bit. You, it's picking up a little bit on the camera. Oh, I need to go around that in black. This is why you do it for days like this. Oh. <clears throat> I think this is disappearing ink. <laughs> it was there, now it's gone. Cotswold caper.
That's why this pen is disappearing. It's probably on the gold. I need to make sure I go outside the, outside the lines of the gold. Woo! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It doesn't match the green, but it's okay. The trade-off is fine. this one. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.